your area is open water boating for cast. Cast the bottom of the hour. Gusts may be higher. Today, mostly sunny. East winds around 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear. East winds around 10 miles per hour early in the evening becoming light and variable. Wind becoming southeast around 10 miles per hour after midnight. Monday, mostly sunny. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly sunny. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour shifting to the southeast in the afternoon. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Thursday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Friday, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Winds around 10 miles per hour. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Here's the tropical weather outlook for the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center is issuing advisories on Hurricane Ari, located about 40 miles south-southwest of New York City, and on newly formed Tropical Storm Jose, located about 115 miles south-southwest of Bermuda. Showers and thunderstorms associated with a tropical wave located a few hundred miles south-southeast are gradually becoming better organized. Environmental conditions appear conducive for development of this wave during the next couple of days as it moves westward at 10 miles per hour. This system has a medium chance, 40%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. An elongated area of low pressure associated with remnants of tropical depression 10 is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms are located about 700 miles west-northwest of the northern Cape Verde Islands. Strong upper-level winds are likely to prevent any significant development of this disturbance. This system has a low chance, 10%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of south-central Arkansas. Southeast Arkansas, North Central Louisiana, Northwest Louisiana, Southeast Oklahoma, East Texas and Northeast Texas. For today and tonight, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. For the period Monday through Saturday, no hazardous weather is expected at this time. Spotter activation will not be needed today or tonight. You are listening to Weather Radio, station WXK36, broadcasting in Tyler on 162.475 megahertz. Here's a look at local weather conditions as of 7 a.m. At the top of the hour, skies were clear in Tyler. The temperature was 78 degrees at the regional airport. The dew point was 63, making relative humidity 59%. Winds were south at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.88. In Longview, skies were clear with a temperature of 72 degrees. The dew point was 64, making the rain 6%. Winds were calm. The pressure was 29.86 inches and rising. Once again in Tyler, it was 78 degrees with clear skies at 7 a.m. Around the local area at 7 a.m. in Terrell, partly cloudy and dirty. Wind calm. DFW Airport, cloudy and 85. Wind southeast at 3 miles an hour. Paris, clear and 75. Wind calm. Texarkana, clear and 70. Wind calm. Shreveport, clear and 73 degrees. Wind calm. Jacksonville, clear and 77 degrees. Wind southeast at 5 miles an hour. Palestine, sunny and 75 degrees. Wind calm. And the course at Kanla, mostly cloudy and 81 degrees. Wind south at 5 miles an hour. Elsewhere across the four state region, Oklahoma City, cloudy and 80. Little Rock, clear and 74. Jackson, Mississippi, clear and 71. Baton Rouge, clear and 70. And at Houston, clear and 80 degrees. Now let's check on your local forecast. 
Ozone action day in effect for today. Today, mostly sunny. Highs around 103. East winds up to 5 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-70s. Southeast winds up to 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs around 102. Southeast winds up to 5 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Southeast winds up to 5 miles per hour. Tuesday, partly cloudy. Highs around 101. Southeast winds up to 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 90s. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-70s. Thursday, partly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Thursday night, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. Friday, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the mid-70s. Saturday, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-90s. Ozone Action Day in effect. The Northeast Texas Air Care Group has declared an Ozone Action Day for the Tyler, Longview, Marshall areas for Sunday. Weather conditions are expected to be favorable for producing high levels of ozone on Sunday. Voluntary action is needed to help produce air pollution emissions and to help prevent ozone formation. Ozone pollution. The Northeast Texas Air Care Group urges area residents to reduce vehicle trips, carpool, ride the bus and avoid running gasoline engines. Other recommended actions include waiting until after 6 p.m. to buy gas, mow lawns, or run errands. If required, the next Ozone Action Day notice will be issued by 2.30 p.m. on Sunday, August 28th. At 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 1200 UTC, the center of Tropical Storm Jose was located near latitude 30.8 north, longitude 65.7 west. Jose is moving toward the north near 16 miles per hour, and this motion is expected to continue today. Maximum sustained winds are near 40 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Little change in strength is forecast today in Jose should we... ...and extend outward up to 50 miles from the center. Estimated minimum central pressure is 1,008 millibars, 29.77 inches. At 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 1200 UTC, the center of Hurricane Irene was located by an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft of NOAA. Near 40.3 north, longitude 74.1 west, Irene is moving toward the north north near 25 miles per hour, and its motion with a continued gradual increase in forward speed is expected during the next day or so. On the forecast track, the center of Irene will move near New York City this morning, and move inland over southern New England by this afternoon. Irene is forecast to move into eastern Canada tonight. Maximum sustained winds are near 75 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Irene is a Category 1 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. Irene is to weaken and become a post-tropical cyclone by tonight or early Monday. Hurricane force winds extend out to 55 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 320 miles. Clotten, Connecticut recently reported sustained winds of 39 miles per hour and a wind gust to 54. New York City has recently reported a total water level near 8.6 feet. The latest minimum central pressure reported by the Hurricane Hunter aircraft was 963 millibars, 28.44 inches, 